Can you make money playing video games online? If you search YouTube for this, you're gonna see there's a whole bunch of YouTube videos that claim that you can. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and how you can do it and what to avoid to make sure that this works for you. Now, it might sound a little crazy if you're not familiar with this concept, but if you search make money playing games on YouTube, you're gonna see people with all kinds of crazy claims. Some people claim you can make $500 in a day. Some people claim you can make 30 bucks per hour. $75 per day. And to me, that's just crazy. I mean, if you made $500 per day, that's as much money as some doctors make. I mean, why would you go to college or university and spend all this time studying and then have this crazy hours working this job when you could just sit at home playing video games and make the same amount of money? Well, in this YouTube video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. And I'll tell you, many of the videos that tell you to play a game on your phone and earn some weird crypto by completing certain tasks in the game and stuff like that, a lot of those are actually scams. We've tried a lot of them. But last week, I actually discovered that Margaret, one of the staff that works for me, actually has made money playing video games online. And here's a screenshot of how much money she's made. And so we're gonna do her exact steps that she used to make that money. I'm gonna show you in detail how you can do it. Now to be clear, this $3,000 that you see, she did a few other things to make that $3,000 that she's gonna explain once I bring her on for the interview. So make sure you watch the whole video to see the details of how to do it. And also before I bring her on, let me get you going with the setup so you can do the exact settings that are gonna work for this. Let me take you to my screen right now. What you wanna do is you wanna to go to upwork.com. You wanna click sign up right there and you wanna click, I'm a freelancer looking for work. And I want you to do the exact setup that I'm gonna show you right now on my screen to make sure that this is gonna work for you. Then you're gonna fill out your name, your email address, you're gonna give them a password and your country, check those two boxes and click create my account. You're gonna to have to verify your email, so go ahead and do that. And if you verify your email, it's gonna say congratulations, your account is verified, and it's gonna ask you some questions. Go ahead and click get started. Now I want you to click I am brand new to this. I want you to check to make money on the side. Click next. Then I want you to click I'd like to find opportunities myself. We'll leave this, uh, this box here open, and then we're gonna click fill out manually. And here are the specific roles that I want you to fill out in this box, manual tester. And this is really important because these video game companies are looking for that specific keyword phrase. Then I want you to click add experience. And I want you to put manual tester in as your title. You can put any company in, you can just make up a company name if you don't have one because you're starting a new career online. But you put your location, this is really important, put your real location in there. Put your birth date, et cetera, and click save. Then under description, I want you to put testing software and games. Again, make sure you put that exact phrase in there. And then you can just fill out any kind of education. If, you, if you're a college graduate, you can put that in there. It does help if they know you've graduated from college and stuff like that. If you haven't, don't lie about it. Just put your real educational history in here. And next it's gonna ask you which languages you speak. It's really important you put your real languages in there because they're gonna actually match you with video games in that language. I want you to check all of these suggested skills that I'm checking right here. And this is really important because these are the specific skills that these video game companies are gonna be looking for in order to find people to pay to play their games for them. And then click next. Now we're gonna put a little bio in there and feel free to use this exact text in there for the bio and it's really important that they know you pay attention to detail, that you're a good communicator and that you like trying new things. That's kind of the point of what we're doing here. You also wanna put in this sentence here that this kind of helps them to know what kind of jobs you're looking for and anyone looking to hire you to play their game and to test it out for them is gonna look for someone that can do error tracking and can document it. Then under the main services, I want you to check these exact boxes. QA testing. Now for hourly rate, I would encourage you to put a low hourly rate to start. This $25 that I put in is, is good, but you might wanna even go lower than that. I would start with maybe $4 or $5 just to start, and that will help you to get some easy jobs to start and get some experience under your belt, because the way this works is, after you have gotten some experience, 
at a very low level, you get some good reviews, then the jobs are just gonna start coming in for people asking you to play their games for them and test them out for them. Um, but at first, you're gonna be competing with other people that have more experience than you, so you wanna put your hourly rate very, very low. But hey, even if you're just getting paid four or $5 per hour, all you're doing is playing a video game, right? So that's what I encourage you to do just to start. If you do that, it will really help you to help to jumpstart your career as a video game tester. All right, then you're gonna put a photo of yourself in there. You're gonna put your date of birth. Again, make sure you put all your accurate information in there because they might actually check your ID to see if you're actually a real person and you don't wanna have any kind of conflicts with the information. So make sure you put in the information that matches your ID. And after you get all that done, then you are good to go and you will start getting requests for people to actually play their game that they've created for them and give them feedback on it. Now, I will say, I'm gonna bring Margaret on here just in a second to share exactly how she made the $3,000 in the screenshot. But I do wanna say this is going to be a little bit of work. You can't just only play the game. You have to also document what you're doing, any errors that you find, you have to put those down and you have to take screen capture recordings of your gameplay just to show specifically any issues that you had or what your experience was like. So it's not like just playing a game at your leisure. You're gonna to have to do some work documenting what you're doing. Now, I do wanna say, if you want a business that runs 100% on autopilot, where you could actually just play video games without having to document anything, and the money will come in on autopilot, I have a free class in the link in the description of this video that teaches you how to set up an online business, that once you get it set up in the beginning, you set up like an online system, and then this system generates money for you on autopilot day in and day out. And I actually have a friend that set up this system, and then once the system was up and running and paying him, him a full-time income all he had to do then was play video games all day without having to document anything it's an autopilot online business just click on the link in the description of this video I have a free class on how you can set that entire thing up now let's bring Margaret on to show us exactly what she did to get started and how she made three thousand dollars being a tester for video games and other things right now okay good so i've got margaret on here and she has done this exact business model that we're talking about in this youtube video and actually gotten paid for playing video games so i thought i would just ask her a little bit about how that was for her and i know you showed me that screenshot where you had made like three thousand dollars just as far as playing the games what exactly did it entail um actually playing those games and then I mean, you just play the games and then you get paid or how did it work? Each client has a different set of rules that they want tested. Sometimes they just want you to be um, signing up and figuring out how the login process works. Sometimes they want you to actually be going through levels and actually playing the game. But mostly it just entails uh, taking screenshots, taking notes on things that you find that don't work or or do work. Um, lots of times people want positive feedback. Um, sometimes they want you to record your screen, you know, if you have something that just isn't working correctly so that they can track down what happened or what it looks like for you. And what kind of games are these? Are they, could they be any kind of game? Are they, are they, do they require a special, a special gaming computer to play? Or are these like more like web games that are inside a web browser, like online type games? It really varies. Um, there's a lot of people who do gaming through browsers, um, especially when you're looking at metaverses um, as a whole genre that has yeah. been brought to the browser. Um, so those are very accessible to people, um, but it can go all the way to customized computers where you need an intensive graphics card to be able to run it. And that's generally spelled out in their requirements. Were they fun games or were they boring? Um, a lot of them were really fun. Um, okay. <laughs> and some, sometimes there's group testing. Um, so working with a group of other people. Um, so being confident and comfortable talking to people is an important component of this. What, were, what are some tips? Like, let's say they get started on Upwork, they get signed up. Um, I know you told me, before we started this recording, you told me a few things that you recommend people do to get started. 
I mean, is it just a matter of signing up and saying, hey, I'm a game tester and the orders will just come in or how do you recommend they actually get started in a way that'll work? It's nice if um, on your profile, you can have some um, screenshots of things that you have tested or played, what you're familiar with, because people search based on the skills. So make sure you fill out your profile really well, um, list your skills, and each time you interact with a client, make sure you rate them really nicely because then they will rate you nicely. And if they have played a lot of games, online would it help to put that stuff in there like even if maybe haven't done official testing but they're a big gamer and they, you know they yeah. game for like two hours per night uh listing the types of games listing um your skill set as far as do you do shooters do you do uh, mmos are you a mobile apps gamer um because there's a okay. whole field of uh, mobile apps testing that is available through Upwork. How, how long of a span of time were you, like from where you, so when you first started doing like the game testing until you were all the way into management, like how long of a span of time was that? Um, About six months. Six months. So with six months, you went from total newbie game tester to supervising. So that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. A lot of companies ignore testing and then they get problems. And then all of a sudden they're trying to pick up people to test really quickly because all, you know, they have problems and they don't know uh, what type of machine was it? What, you know, mm. is it the user base? Is it the language? You know, all of those things that uh, a lot of companies will hop on Upwork to grab a group of testers because they didn't plan for that. <laughs> so they launch a game, they got a live gaming environment going and there's all these problems. Mm -hmm. and so they're just desperately like trying to find people like we need, we need testers that are going to systematically play this game and report on like all the errors and what their computer was what their browser was and all that yeah. type of thing okay good good that's great that's a great tip so any any last tips for for folks that are wanting to get into this that that maybe you didn't cover um experiment experiment apply for anything uh even if it seems a little bit outside of your skill level you can always google and youtube your way through it just be brave be brave that's good be brave and have fun right right exactly <laughs> That's great. Thanks a lot, Margaret, for your input. No problem. That's fun. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, I just want to repeat, if you want to learn how to set up an online business that will run on autopilot, click on the link in the description of this video. Like I said before, it's a little bit of work to get the thing set up at the beginning. I teach you how to set up the system. But after you get this online system set up, it generates you income on autopilot, whether you're working or not, after you get it set up. It's a very simple system to set up. Even my own kids are doing this and I have a free class on how to do it in the link in the description of this video.